Governor Mike DeWine has signed a law that allows cameras in nursing homes. Senate Bill 58, known as Esther's Law, is named after Steve Pisker's mother, who was a victim of elder abuse. First News reporter Brandon J.C. spoke with him and has more on the bill. A decade ago, Steve Piscor's mom, Esther, was the victim of elder abuse. My mother was abused. Uh, it's been over 10 years now. And um, we got the legis I got the legislation introduced in 2019. Then the pandemic happened and the legislation failed, but it was reintroduced earlier this year and has since passed. It's amazing. I, it's um, after so long of trying to, I mean, I, I pushed so many people to the max. I mean, I probably got so many people mad at me, but... Uh, it, it, in the end, in the end, I mean, I think a lot of people realize that how much this was needed. The cameras aren't a requirement, and if a resident has a roommate, the roommate has to agree to it being installed. Maybe he's just pointing the camera at the one who wants the the the, uh, the camera, and maybe he's shutting the sound off or whatever agreements they want to come to. This law is geared to the most vulnerable, but during a pandemic, it might make it easier for families to see their loved ones. Uh, residents in nursing homes, which are the dementia, um, Alzheimer's uh, residents who can't tell us what's happening. And that was the same with my mother. She couldn't tell me what was happening. Following the signing of the bill, AARP released a statement congratulating PISCOR. They also said, on behalf of our more than one and a half million members statewide, we thank Governor DeWine for his signature to enact Esther's Law. This law provides additional peace of mind, a gift for family caregivers and long-term care residents this season. Continuing Health Care of Lisbon said, We understand that cameras may offer families some measure of comfort. However, they aren't the answer to ensuring quality care in nursing homes. We have extensive policies and procedures in place to protect our residents and pride ourselves on the quality of care we provide. We have always encouraged residents and families to bring any concerns to us so they can be addressed immediately. Having a camera in a room will change very little for us. I just ask people to, to use it. You know, um, um, We have to get the word out to let people know that this law is there. For WKBN 27 First News, I'm Brandon Jaycees.